Hey everybody, it's Sterling with another podcast for JPS. Today we're talking about five note voicings. A lot of us are familiar already with the tune So What, as famously played by the Miles Davis Quintet. Um, and we know those iconic voicings. We've heard that many times, right? Especially with the bass line. If you haven't heard that track, I'd highly recommend to go and check it out. Uh, it's a great example of modal jazz um, as played by some great improvisers, Miles Davis, John Coltrane. Um, and today we're talking about some voicings um, that we can use and uh, how, how we can be more creative with these voicings. So first, you know, we're going to take a closer look at these voicings themselves. Um, in the, we're in the key of D minor. So they're made up of five notes from the bottom up. They're D, G, C, F, and A. And all we're going to do is go up a whole step. So first we're at D minor. We're going to go up to E minor. That would be E, A, D, G, and B. So in the melody, we go from E minor to D minor. That makes the famous, so what? So an interesting thing that uh, you might not notice at first glance looking at these voicings is that they actually make up the notes in the pentatonic scale. If we took a D minor pentatonic scale, we'd have D, F, G, A, C. That's D minor pentatonic. And just like that in the voicings, we have D, F, G, A, and C. They're just in a different order, which is kind of cool. So we've got these two voicings, right? E minor and D minor. But there's not a lot we can do with that if we just keep them in the same position. We could comp a little bit in the key of D minor. But we're limited to just those two voicings. So what I'm going to show you is a way to sort of extrapolate these voicings using the D minor pentatonic scale to come up with five to six different shapes. So what we're going to do is actually shift up to E flat minor, just like they do on the bridge of So What. Now we've got E flat minor, which is all black notes, which is going to serve us to our advantage this time. So what we're going to do is go up one note in the pentatonic scale for each part of the voicing. So the bottom note, E flat, is going to go up to G flat and so on and so forth. So if you move one of these notes up at a time, you get this voicing. So instead of E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, you've now got G flat, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat, which is a different shape. So remember, we're going up one note at a time in the pentatonic scale. Just to review the E-flat pentatonic scale, E-flat minor is just all the black notes. So you can think you're going up one black note at a time. So we go from that shape to, and that shape to this one. One more. And then finally, we're back where we started. So we went up one note at a time in the E flat minor pentatonic scale. So again, all together we have So if you need to take a closer look at that, you can rewind the video a little bit. Um, these voicings will also be in the practice materials, which you can download in the link in the description. So 
Now instead of just one voicing for E flat minor, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five different voicings, just like in the notes in the pentatonic scale. So if I were comping using just these voicings in the key of E flat minor, it would sound like this. I'm gonna put my metronome on. So that's how you can use these five different combinations of pentatonic five note shapes to uh, comp in the key of E flat minor. That's kind of cool. There's five notes in the pentatonic scale and we're also using five note voicings, one note for each note in the scale. So that added a little more variety already to what we were, uh, what we were missing, you know, just having one voicing. Now we've got five, but if this isn't enough for you, you can also group five more chords a whole step up. Remember, and so what? We've got two keys. We've got E minor and D minor. So what? Right? Well, now we've got in the key of E flat minor, E flat Dorian more specifically, the mode, since it's modal jazz we're playing. Uh, we've got F minor now. That's so what? If we looked at the F minor pentatonic scale, we'd know we have F, A flat, B flat, C, E flat, and F. And if we made another chord voicing, we'd have F, A flat, B flat, C, E flat. So that's our five note shape that we're starting with. So just real quick, if we went up and, and uh, extrapolated the remainder of these chords, five more voicings. Those are our chords in the key of F minor pentatonic. You might also think of this as harmonizing the pentatonic scale, starting with C. So it gets a little trickier when we're outside of the key of E flat minor because now we can't rely on all the black notes. So you might take a little more time to look at you know how each note moves up in the scale. F goes to A flat, A flat goes to B flat, B flat goes to C, C goes to E flat. So once you figure all those out in the key of F minor, now you've got 10 chords to choose from. You've got, and you've got this set of F minor. So this is what some comping would sound like in the key of E flat Dorian. That's E flat minor combined with some F minor. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, so we just talked about two sets of five note chords uh, comping in a Dorian mode or a minor mode with a, with a natural six. So that was E flat Dorian. And if you're playing the tune So What, you can also comp in D Dorian, which would have E minor and D minor. I recommend starting with E flat minor just because again you've got all the black notes and F minor 
has a combination of white and black notes. If you try to go to D minor uh, right away, it might be a little tricky because remember we've got all white notes. It's, sometimes it can be hard to tell which one's coming up. Uh, but if you practice these chords individually, uh, it can be easier to remember. So I hope this gives you some ideas of how you can use five note pentatonic voicings uh, to comp over the tune So What or any minor modal tune um, in this style. Happy practicing. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Don't forget to go to jazzpianoschool.com and check out all of our free, amazing education, all of the free podcast blogs. We do have a membership if you're looking to take a next step forward with us, get access to over a 1,000 different jazz piano videos, playbooks, mini courses, a main course curriculum, success path, and so much more. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at jazzpianoschool.com. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, happy practicing.